Before I get started with anything, Barbara O'Neill is the best wellness influencer alive. The way that lady breaks down stuff is immaculate. But yes, aspirin does cause stomach bleeds, especially with the average person taking way more than the recommended dosage on a day to day basis. But what she goes on to talk about is cayenne pepper. And I want to highlight a few things that you guys also need to know to replace aspirin with cayenne pepper. Let's talk about it. So basic instructions, a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper and some water before every meal. Preferably, I like to do breakfast, lunch and dinner. And no, it doesn't burn. You have a little tingle, but it does not burn. It's nothing to be afraid of. But essentially, we're waking up the gastric glands. Not only are you increasing hydrochloric stomach acid levels, but you're healing yourself from within. Because peep this, Kanye is a stimulant, but it's not a nervous system stimulant. Those are more so the alcohol, drugs, caffeine, things of that nature. But Kanye is a blood stimulant. Let's, let's get ready. And for all my Bible readers, look Leviticus 17 and 11. It says the life of the flesh is in the blood. So y'all know where I'm going with this. So anything that stimulates blood is very helpful for the body. We have to realize that cayenne pepper does three things. One, it thins the blood, naturally, of course. So for all y'all that's on aspirin, get off of it. Just get on cayenne. And like I said before, aspirin is causing stomach bleeds and even brain bleeds. The research shows it. And even eye bleed. Now, cayenne does not cause any type of bleed. Now, here's the, here's the kicker. If it's flowing through the arteries and the veins and it finds any little bleeds or bleeding, I should say, it goes in and it seals it. It is a blood vessel's best friend. And like Barbara O'Neill said in one of her many interviews, she was like, well, how can cayenne pepper thin the blood but seal the vessels? And then she goes back to reference what it says in the scripture, that God gave herbs to be the service of man. Man meaning all people. So now we got the cayenne pepper inside our body being like, what needs to get done? Where do I fit in? It's my job. So use it, y'all. She furthermore references the book Back to Eating by uh, Jethro Kloss, I believe. He devoted like 10 pages to this one herb. So y'all might want to get your read on. Number two, it strengthens the arterial wall. So men, particularly y'all, if y'all listening to what I'm saying, y'all know what this is going to be good for, right? Right? We got kids on TikTok. We got to watch what we saying. But you you feel me. Y'all better tell. And it's natural, y'all. It's natural. But also on the bigger scale, if you've had damage from a lot of the things that happen within life cardiovascularly, this is one of the best herbs to consume to help heal from the inside out. Now, the third and last thing that Kanye Pepper does is it opens the capillaries. Blood flow about to be immaculate. And I'm talking the whole body. Now, I'm not going to talk y'all to death. Go get y'all some Kanye, put in y'all water, drink it three times a day. Bye.